since you call on the Father who judges each person's work impartially, live out your time as foreigners here on earth in reverence and fear. That is from 1 Peter 1 verse 17. I love this scripture because it is saying to me that I am calling on a father, a God, that there is no partiality at all in him. He's not going to love me better than how he loves you. In him there is no partiality. He loved the poor and the rich. He loved the strong and the weak. He loved the widow and he loved the married. There is absolutely no partiality in him. And since there is no partiality in the God that we're calling on and since he judges each person's work without partiality because there's none in him think about it dear friends he judges each, each person's work on earth without partiality God judges each person's work here on earth without partiality. I just love that. Because in this world, I come upon, and you may too, so many people that have judged us based on your culture or based on uh, your education and based on the little that you have or the little that you don't have. And we're always being scrutinized in this world and we'll always be. But the God that we're serving, He judges each person's work. That should put a fear in our eyes before God. So we need to be careful what we do. We need to be careful how we behave ourselves. Not in front of people, but behave ourselves even in our thought lives. Because he said that God does not look at the way man look. You see, man look at the outward appearance. Man will look at how you're strong and how you're eloquent and how you carry yourself well and all these things that is of our outward appearance but the God that we should fear he looks at our heart he's looking at the heart of man the place that not even you as an individual can see because your heart can deceive you. It is deceiving and desperately wicked. So I am just saying today, God judges each man without partiality. And we should spend the rest of our life here on earth with reverence and fear. In the fear of God. Are we reverencing God? I believe we need to get back to the time when we realize who we are serving. God is not our, our mate, you know. He must be feared. He must be reverenced. There's no way out of fearing God. 
you may try to move away from the presence of God, you will be damned. There's no way out of obeying this God. Hello, dear friends. Remember, fear the Lord. Turn away from evil. Turn away from evil. Make sure you do unto others as you want them to do unto you. Make sure you don't love the world because God don't love the world. And the things of this world. Any man love the world, he said, the love of God is not in him. All there is in the world, lust of the eye, the pride of life, and the lust of the flesh. Turn away from sin. And serve God with reverence and fear. And let the kingdom of God come inside of you. And never stop chasing after God. I'm just encouraging you again. Just a little something. May the peace and the grace of God be with you. Amen.